effective. I never imagined that they would tell us this is an example of racism because I don't think a normal person would think that for one second because there's no racial component here. You know, what am I missing? You're not missing anything, and, and really, this has been stunning. This has really been a course in media brainwash. It's something that I think that we'll look yeah. back upon history and go, we are actually watching the effects of real-life propaganda, a study in what happens when they just say something enough times people accept for, for it to be true. You know, I issued a defense of Kyle Rittenhouse after watching the live trial like everybody else and realizing he was unbelievably innocent in this situation. That is my assessment, and I think that he will walk away innocent, as he should. And you would be it was staggering. People were writing back to me, calling me a race traitor. They were calling me a traitor to my race saying how dare you of course you defend him because he's white now and I'm being serious some of these people were not even trying to be malicious they legitimately thought that Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed two black people because the media refused to acknowledge who who who, who were the alleged victims that they were claiming that he shot they didn't talk about who Joseph Rosenbaum was they didn't talk about the fact that he was a convicted pedophile and they oopsies forgot to mention the fact that both of these men were white this case and I want to be very clear here for everybody watching has nothing to do with black America. This has nothing to do with race. It's nothing to do with black America. Really, guys, we can sit this one out for once. But the media was incessant. And what's really interesting, Tucker, is you go back and you look at that timeline. You know, this happened in August of 2020, just ahead of the election. There are people in the media that were saying that that, that literally that uh, Kyle was radicalized by Trump. And there it is, the Freudian slip. This is what this was really about. The media was obsessed with the race narrative during the Black Lives Matter riot. They yeah. took anything, including an innocent white teenager who had had an incident that occurred with two white convicted felons. They were willing to defend the convicted felons and the pedophiles just because it fed this parasitic beast of white supremacy that they needed to foster to all of Americans. If you have a kid who shoots a convicted pedophile who is screaming the N-word and the kid is white supremacist, I just wonder at a certain point, d does this... Does this attack just lose all power? I mean, it's just, it's so stupid that it just doesn't work anymore. You would hope it doesn't work anymore, but welcome to clown world, Tucker. I don't know what to tell you. This is right. really what Good they point. say over and over again. This has to do, this has to do with white supremacy. This has to do with racism. This factually speaking has absolutely nothing to do with white supremacy or racism. And it is sad when you have people in the media that are willing to defend. I really never thought they would suit this low. They're willing to defend a convicted pe pedophile, an actual madman, right? Why was Joseph Rosenbaum out that day? Does anybody actually think that he was out because he wanted to defend black people as he's screaming the N-word? No, because criminals like to run around around in Black Lives Matter riots and they know that the entire mainstream media is going to defend them no matter what they do, including chasing and attacking a 17-year-old. They know, hey, all I have to do is throw on this BLM t-shirt no matter what I do, no matter who I am, no matter how despicable an individual I am. By the way, the second guy had a record for domestic abuse and false imprisonment of a woman. Nobody cares because guess what? It's BLM night. Put on your t-shirt, run around and commit some crimes. Nobody's going to say anything to you. That is totally true. And I wish more people had understood. You understood it at the time, and they tried to they tried to pull you off TV. I remember that so well. But you were right. Yep. Candace Owens, thank you very much. Thanks so much for having me.